Jazz in Washington. I'm the public relations chair for the UMD chapter of NAACP. So I just wanted to get a group of um, Maryland students together to come. We're actually meeting more up there. And we just came to support and support the change of gun revision laws. So How important is that when you think about this? Um, it's actually very important for me because this is an issue that affects my community as well. It doesn't, it doesn't just affect one group of people. It affects everybody in the country. And the fact that these guns mass shootings are taking place in schools is just a place that it shouldn't be taking place in because school is a place to learn and students should have the right to feel safe at school. Yeah, oftentimes when black people protest, they don't get a lot of attention, but when white people protest, the whole world sees it. And so you say it's good for people to be together? It's good for us to be together regardless, though. I think we can just use our power to our advantage. What's your name and tell me why you want to be out here today. Um, I'm Sterling. I represent Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. And um, we're dedicated to ending violence in our schools and in our streets. And so I'm here today to press my legislators to write some real gun reform legislation that's going to be meaningful and impactful. Um, it's time for the NRA to get out of our government. We own our government. We need to take our government back. And it needs to be out of the pockets of, of the... Um, special interest and back into the power of the people. And what, what school are you going to, Sigma Sabe? Uh, uh, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Oh, yeah. Go Retrievers, baby. And what's your last name? Demby, Sterling Demby. Spell it, D-E-M? D-E-M-B-Y. from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and my name is Gwendolyn White, and I'm here to support all students, all children, and common sense gun control. And how about, why did you want that here to go to? My name is Renee Dunn, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and gun violence is all too real in my community, and I'm out here to advocate for gun, for law enforcement, and the military only. And you know, you think about this march, does it encourage you to see people small walks of life it catches Why your heart. It, it yes, catches it you by the soul. It does. It, it, the emotions, I mean, the, the way you feel, it's just emotional. It makes you know that you're here for something more than just the everyday crap that's going on in that White House with number 45. Well, I, I'd say that the Bible, which Republicans love to quote, says that we should be led by the children, and it looks like the children will have to do it. The babies at Sandy Cook were too young, they weren't close enough in age to vote, so their lives didn't matter. But these young people are 16, 17, and 18, and they're our next crop of voters, and they will make a change in this country, which is so needed. Just talk about why did you want to be here today with your husband? So, I'm here today because as a physician that treats patients in this, in this community and across this country, all communities, we are sick and tired of seeing the violence that gun causes. Regardless of what specialty or what we do, we see it every day and it has to stop. It must stop. So I'm here today with my husband to support, support um, decreased gun violence and gun reform now. 